I mean, I think of Worcester Square growing up as a village, you know, a self-contained village where everything we wanted and needed was right there. Walking out of my front door, you know, and walking down the block with, that I lived on, you know, Lucibella's Pastry Shop was right there. There was another grocery store right next to that. There was a shoe store right there. There was a, like a little hardware store across the street. And on the corner was a factory where the women worked and made, uh, and made shirts. But growing up in Worcester Square was a joy. It really was. Uh, your neighbors, like I said, no envy. If your neighbor had a baby, take care of the baby, take care of the mother, think nothing of it, take two or three of their children, cook for them. It was like one big happy family. One of the best things about the neighborhood was it seemed like everyone had a nickname. Uh, a lot of my family members, you know, you go just my, my cousins. Uh, there was uh, Joe Duck. He, he got that name because he walked like he had duck feet. Uh, my cousin uh, Mark, he had like a size, almost eight head. So someone had given him the name Bullhead. There was Frankie the Rat. He looked a little bit like a rat. All my life living on Whistle Street, we never locked our doors. Our doors was always open. And on every Sunday morning, you could walk up and down Whistle Street, you'll smell everybody's some tomato sauce.